Hi, I'm Anne from The Artful Grimmer. Today I'll show you how to paint a terracotta plant pot using acrylic paint. So I started painting terracotta pots during the pandemic to house my growing indoor jungle. I love the way these pots add so much colour and cheer to my home office and studio. For this project, I'm using acrylic paint in lamp black, titanium white, vermilion, viridian, cerulean blue, and phthalo blue. Of course, don't feel like you have to stick to these colours. Use whatever colour combination speaks to you. I also use some acrylic paint pens and brushes. I also used gesso to prime the pot before painting. The first step is to tape the inside of the pot to get a nice clean line to paint down to. I use a wide flat brush dipped in gesso to apply one nice thin coat to the pot. If you don't have gesso handy, you can use white paint instead. While this dries, I've created some simple geometric shapes out of cardboard to use as a stencil for my pot design. Place the stencil onto the pot and use a pencil to outline around them. Once the outlines are on, I freehand some more shapes and lines to finish the design layout. Make sure to extend the design to the inside of the pot for a more finished look so that your plants can see your artwork too. And now for the exciting part, painting. I start by squeezing out some white and cerulean blue onto a palette and mix them together to create a light pastel blue shade. Using a medium flat acrylic brush, fill in the center circle with the light blue along with some of the background area at the bottom of the pot. Next, squeeze out some plain cerulean blue paint and use it to fill in some more shapes on the pot. Next, mix white and viridian together to make a lovely turquoise colour. Use this to fill in some more of the background shapes. The final background colour is navy, which I create by mixing mostly phthalo blue with just a touch of lamp black and a touch of white. Fill in all the shapes with the exception of the leaves. There's no right or wrong way to coordinate your colours. Just make it your own. Now it's time to paint in the leaves. Mix together mostly white with a touch of vermilion to make a pale pink colour. Use this shade to fill in half of the leaves on your pot. Once all the halves of your leaves are painted light pink, add a touch more vermilion to make dark pink. Use this dark pink to fill in the remaining halves of the leaves. To get a thick, opaque finish, I painted a second coat on all of the colours. Once that's dry, take a white paint pen to add in some crisp outlines and extra detail. For this part, I chose to add white details over the top of the painted leaves as well as draw some extra leafy outlines. Shake your paint pen vigorously before you start drawing and you can even practice on a piece of paper first. 
My biggest tip is to keep turning the pot around while drawing. You can make the pot uniquely yours by experimenting with different colored paint pens, different paint colors, and you can even experiment with different patterns and shapes. The designs are really limited only by your imagination. We can't wait to see what you've come up with. Hashtag Montmartre Art or tag us on Instagram or Facebook at Montmartre Art. We'll see you soon.